Introducing Sugar Ray Robinson, one of the greatest boxers of all time. Nicknamed the Sweet Science, Robinson began his professional boxing career in 1940. His style and speed made him a feared opponent, earning the moniker Sugar Ray. He won an impressive October 2, 91 record by 1953 and the World Middleweight Championship five times. During his career he faced boxers such as Sugar Ray Leonard, Carl Bobo Olsen, and Kid Gavilan. Robinson's remarkable reflexes and quickness allowed him to fight opponents for the full 15-round bouts. Known for his fainting technique during matches, Robinson often got his opponents to move when they thought he was going to punch. Despite his success in the ring, his life outside of it was difficult as he struggled with gambling addiction. In 1953 Robinson retired after a record of 175-19-6. He also endured a drawn-out legal battle with the IRS over unpaid taxes. Despite his personal struggles, Robinson continued to promote the sport of boxing through exhibitions and public appearances. Robinson starred in a few films during the 1950s, most notably The San Francisco Story in 1954. He was presented with a Hall of Fame award by the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 1990. Known for his good-naturedness and generosity, Robinson died in 1989 at a nursing home in Los Angeles aged 67. He was chosen as a grader for the 1996 Summer Olympics and a bronze statue of Robinson was made in 2009 in his hometown of Detroit. Robinson's legacy in boxing continues to this day, inspiring the likes of Mike Tyson and Floyd Mayweather. He often used his left arm style to gain advantage on the opponents and capitalize on openings. He has a patented footwork which was unique for his era and left the opponents off balance and shaky. His ability to control the pace of the match was incredible and often intimidated his opponents. Robinson's foot speed allowed him to move around and pursue opponents around the ring. He often used to hit opponents multiple times in a row with a left and then a right punch. He is also remembered for his timing in the ring, moving in and out of the range of his opponents. His combinations often saw a flurry of punches thrown in at a rapid rate, looking almost choreographed. Robinson was one of the first boxers to use psychological warfare inside the ring, capitalizing on his opponent's mistakes. He was also able to take advantage of the gaps in the defenses of his opponents anytime they were open. <laughs>